Welcome Taste Designs 107, I'm Jason the Car Pack, you're the Kings and Queens. Today what I've for you guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own webcam overlay. The difficulty for this tutorial will be 2 out of 5 stars, the duration will take 10 to 5 minutes. It doesn't take that long, we're just going to be using the pen tool, filling in some of the paths with the pen tool that we have made and yeah that's really it if you did enjoy the video leave a comment below saying what you thought of it so i can personally thank you and also like the video let's see if we can get to 25 likes and yeah let's get straight up. welcome to the desktop this is where the magic happens we're gonna get straight into this tutorial by opening up photoshop cc and make a new document so my photoshop is already open we're gonna go to file new or press ctrl n and for the width and height i'm gonna make it a standard ratio so if you record your webcam with 1920 by 1080p we're gonna do 1920 by 1080p and you can scale this down later in the editing process so once we have done this we're going to make a new layer above our background by pressing ctrl shift and you should know that already we're going to lock this one and just name it bg we might make a new layer and just fill this one in with black actually we're going to fill it in with white you know what i'm saying boys okay and this is just going to be like our you know like our testing layer um this is just going to be test of background And I've got some designs that I have sourced up on the internet that I would like to do. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these. So the first one, I'm going to grab up the shape tool. Click once on my document, press OK for whatever height and width. We're going to press Control T on this one. And she's going to whip, whip, she says nay, nay. Da, 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 whip, whip, she says nay, nay. I'm going to press Control shift enter on that one and then I am going to go up here, go to the stroke and do it a black stroke because we like it black here. And we are going to do the size of this line, 2 pixels, press OK and that's not changing it for some reason. Nailed it. That is not thick enough. There we go. Three pixels should be fine. Then we're going to press Control T, resize this one down by holding Control Shift Alt, and we can start working with this. So we are going to make a new layer above this one. We're going to right click and do Rasterize Layer. Go to the blending options on this rectangle, apply a gradient overlay. The gradient overlay is going to be black to gray. The gray is going to be like really gray. You know what I mean? like something like this press ok and then we're gonna go to reverse and it's gonna be from black to gray like that maybe a little bit lighter gray okay sweet we're not gonna do anything else you could make it like a little bevel emboss and make it 3d but you don't have to I finally got that Thing out of my teeth okay so then i'm going to start drawing some little angles on this so i'm going to grab up my pen tool press ctrl r and because this um rectangle is in the middle of my document if i click here to start making the shape it should be fine i'm going to go probably something like this bam and then i'm going to click up here and nailed it like that shift click shift click and we should have some straight lines going on to here but when i click onto the document for the first time i'm going to click it so it's on there so i'm using this ruler take note so it's going to be like one inch i think straight off and i'll hold shift while I'll click around Let's just go like here and then bam bam 
make sure that everything is aligned because if it's really important that you have straight lines with this, otherwise it will look crooked and not professional. With the color, I'm gonna do a really nice baby blue and I'm going to fill this one in with that color. Make sure it's your foreground color and use a bucket tool. Press Control T and move that once so it's right on that edge. And I filled it in with black originally and that's not what I want. Now I'm just going to bam like that. And I'm going to do double security by going in once with my pixels and making sure that everything is aligned on that. So if I go to view and clear the guides, I should have something like this. And I'm going to press Control J on this one, right click and do horizontal. Hold shift and drag this one right out until I get something like that. And then bam, I've got those two on. I'm going to press control and click both of those and bring it on top of that line. Okay, so then I'm going to make a new layer above this and bring up my pen tool. Then I'm going to bring on my ruler on this line And I'm also going to bring it along this line. Now I'm going to grow to my shape tool, brag, bring up the polygon tool with the sides. I'm going to make it four, so we're doing a triangle. Click wherever you want, make a polygon, and just edit this triangle, something that you like. I'm also going to make sure that it has no stroke and it will also have a white on this one. Now if I drag this one onto here, something like that. I need a background, so I'm going to fill this in with black so I can just see what this triangle actually looks like, if you know what I mean. Something like that. And then if I go to Control i for the background, I just need something like a texture or whatever just to bring it in. So I'm going to be using this texture, what I've been using for Hollow Points logo, so I can actually just see what it'll look like. And then I'm going to draw the little angles on this side. So just shift click along here. And I'm using the guides, as you can see, to draw this. Something like this, in, out, bam, bam. I'm going to zoom in right here because it doesn't allow me to give me that angle that I want. She says will, she says nay nay, she says will, will, she says nay nay. Sorry, I just watched a video song and then go back to here we're going to finalize that make selection press ok and fill this one in with a new black whoa 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 she says will she says nay nay and fuck make selection brand Make a new layer and click that one on. Okay, sweet. Now we can go to view, clear guides. Zoom back out. I'm liking how that looks. Drag this above so it's on that top one. Press Control J. Right click and then do flip that horizontally and then bring this one on. Move this a couple times with my arrow key. And we have encountered a problem. Now the problem is that this isn't aligned. So that aligned there. Bam. That is fine. We can fix this up very quickly. See how this bit isn't aligned. I'm going to zoom right in for this one. And I guess we have to do some drawing with pixels. So go to your brush tool, change the size to one pixel, the hardness to 100, and make sure you paint it with that blue and go up. And I'm just going to simply
go in like that. And then bam, we have those and we are ready to give it to our client. So thank you so much for watching the video. Now, if you'd like to apply like a little layer style to this triangle, you can by going to here, doing rasterize layer and then go to the blending options. And I guess you can do a grading overlay and just add like this really light gray or something like that. Bam, bam, bam. You can also do a stroke inside, do it like one or two, but you don't have to. In a shadow, you can add plenty of different things, what you'd like to it, but I like that little grading onto it. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did, please like the video because of that would be amazing. So yeah, thanks guys so much. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next tutorial tomorrow. This one was a short one, but I definitely have something cool coming out for you guys tomorrow. Peace.